hi there hot pink scooter girl here with another tutorial today I'm going to be showing you how to remove blemishes from a picture using the program GIMP okay so go to the picture you want um, I have it here right here on my desktop but if you go to start and then you hit you know GIMP it'll just load but if you already want to start out with your picture you can just right click and then say edit with GIMP and this GIMP program will open up. So, since I didn't do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it in here. Alrighty, so there's blemishes all over right here, as you can see. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them. You are going to zoom in. Zoom into the area you wanna work with immediately. I'll just work in this little one over here for now. Zooming in is the best thing to do because when you actually select the color, it'll be closer to the area that's around, so it'll look more natural and it will fade into the skin better. So let's go ahead and select the color. We'll come over here to this color picker tool, little water droplet. And sometimes, you know, around the blemish, like here's the center of the blemish and then around it is pink. And then around that is a little bit lighter pink. Um, you want to get out of those areas and make sure that you get a normal skin color. And we'll go ahead and click right there. So you're just going to left click, make sure that the color shows up in this little box here. And that lets you know which color you're using at the moment and which tool you're going to use it with. Next is this airbrush tool. This airbrush tool is amazing. So to make it look more natural, um, we're just going to leave it on mode, normal. Opacity, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit because you don't want hard edges. Another thing to bring down the hard edges is, you know, which um, texture you decide to have. Here's a dot, a line. Um, this one is nice. It has a very faded, a, like a large faded area around the center. So that's good for fading into you know, the background that you're putting it on. And this one is, has like a little bit more harsh um, edges. So I picked one that's a little bit in the middle. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna leave that the same. I'm gonna make the size a little bit less than that because the area I, I wanna work with is so much smaller than that. So let's just make that a little bit tinier. Perfect, okay. Aspect ratio, you know, you don't really have to worry about any of these other things. If you use um, like a, a tablet or something like that where you can actually change the pressure of the tool that you're using, um, you know, then you can screw around with those. But for now, I'm just using the little mouse pad on my laptop if you're doing, you know, basic, basic photo editing. So I'm just going to go ahead and left click. And you can see the more I click, 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 click or hold down the mouse, it gets rid of more. So I like starting out with, um, you know, a few clicks to make sure I have the right color. Um, and here we go. See, we're just making that fading around and fading around. And you can just play with it, you know, depending on the skin tone of, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, you know, it'll, it'll all change. So I got rid of that one. That's pretty much gone. Um, let's work on this area right here. So because there isn't like one little dot like this one is, this area is going to be a little bit more difficult to blend in. So let's make sure that we get a nice color that is lighter than all of this pink, but is still, you know, not too dark, not too light, a good middle ground. So I'm just going to pick that color right there and get my airbrush tool again. And I'm just going to go at it. I'm just going to slowly etch away at these blemishes. Um, you can see that they're starting to disappear even more. Um, you know, depending on the area and the skin, the pinkness might go out, you know, a lot farther, um, depending on, you know, the type of skin that the person has. So if you decide, you know, after the fact that, holy crap, this isn't looking good, this is like too light, this is looking too nasty, just play around with it. You know, click at a different area that's totally farther away and it's way lighter, you know. So I'm just going to click that and make sure that I did actually get a lighter shade. Okay, here's a lighter shade. We'll just get that one. 
I'll go back down here, get my airbrush tool, and then just start going at it again. Um, it's looking too light. I'm just going to make the opacity a little bit less, and then I'm going to increase the size, make it look more natural. So as you can see, that's really disappearing there. You want to make sure that um, you're blending and that you're blending and blending. And um, let's zoom out and make sure that area looks good. It doesn't. It looks too white because I picked an area over here that was way too light compared to the shadows that are being cast here on the, you know, from the light source. So control Z. All right, so in this case, go ahead and pick the select tool, pick an area right near it, and keep it zoomed out, and keep it big. And keep this little pointer tool big. That way, you can make it look more natural because you're actually seeing what's being caused instead of being so zoomed into it. So that looks a lot better than it did. Um, I'll come back to it if I don't end up liking, you know, how it all looks together. But I'm going to focus on this big, this big one right here. And I'm going to get my, I just want to zoom in a tiny bit. Okay. Get my select tool for selecting color. Pick a color that's kind of light and near it. And I'm just going to start going at that one now too. Clicking away. And clicking away more. Okay, that looks okay. So I'm going to select a color that's a little bit darker. I'm going to make it a little bit less opaque. And I'm going to go back in and make sure that it's, you know, not too light. Since I had a problem with that before. Okay. Let's zoom out even more and see how that looks. Oh, that looks so much better already. See, we got rid of those zits. Um, and it's starting to look good. So I'm going to come back once I'm all done doing it all so I can show you before and after. Okay. Bye. Okay, so I've spent some time doing it. And this is the after. I'll show you the before too. Okay. So I zoomed in a little bit more so I could show you a little bit more detail. Um, this was <laughs> that girl's butt before and this is that girl's butt after. And um, I, I usually tend to leave a little bit around after just to make it look a little bit more natural. You don't want it to look too um, airbrush. You don't want it to look too fake. So I leave a little bit, um, you know, what... A normal person would have and if I do it too much um, I start over that's just what I do so I hope this tutorial has been helpful um, what you're gonna do to save so you're gonna go to file export and you're just gonna save it and this is how you save it as a JPEG or a GIF or a BMP um, if you just hit save, it'll save it as an XCF, which, um, is very compatible. So, um, I just wanted to tell you guys that. All right. Um, so, oh, let me finish. So you hit export and I already have it on there, but I'll just click hundred percent show in preview export and it exports it into the file where you put it. Alrighty. Well, I hope this was helpful for you, helpful for you guys. <laughs> um, stay tuned for more. Bye.